<laughs> Hello, this is Kevin, also known as AWOL. Welcome to this Halloween-inspired video. Um, you can see up there in the uh, top right, this was me on Sunday kind of running back and forth and trying to get all of the string ready to make this. So, kind of give you an idea of what I kind of go through. This is my uh, father-in-law and my uh, mother-in-law over there on the couches, um, kind of taking a rest, and yeah, they, uh, <laughs> it's just me basically having to come up with something to do to keep an eye on them, so I did this, and oh, you might notice that first thing there was, this is all DMC floss for a change, um, basically, I've been kind of saying this for a little bit now, I am quite low on string, and need to make an order here soon, so that's sort of where we are with that that's kind of a thing um the string count on this there is 19 on one side well there's 19 on either side but 19 of the gray on one side and then two gray on the side with the orange but that also has the four green so yeah and you can you'll see here that i basically i kind of changed up the way i kind of string these all on now somebody here recently tried to leave a comment and said that they don't even bother with this whole process like I'm doing where I put the loops over top of the whole bigger mass and that's cool you know if you're doing you know a four or five string bracelet you really don't have to do that whole lineup thing right that's that's not necessary um, however when you're doing so it's what 19 uh, 30 38 strings in all um, if you try that same thing where you're just going to go ahead and just let the strings kind of go every which way as you try to form up the, your first rows it is not going to go well for you and I, I think personally for me that if you learn how to do it when you know, like it's the easiest when it's your at your easiest forms and you start these practices of doing it to where it's going to look the best when you get up to these more difficult type of designs it's just going to be a whole lot easier for you right so now at this point here i'm having to follow the pattern and that's why i only went down i think it was like seven or eight knots um i'm following the pattern and the pattern is going to be available on my website um I think it might actually right now be a Patreon's um, early access, but um, this whole and this whole video basically had to be broken into pieces because it's really quite a time-consuming process. This um, it's first off, I didn't get a chance to double up the string. That was that's pretty much on me. Um, yeah, I, I meant to, I thought about it, but then whatever, I, in the whole calculations and stuff, it just seemed like it was an awful lot of string, and um, I was at the store, and I compulsively bought, and um, well, I just didn't have enough at the end of the day when I came home with it, so that's, you live and you learn, right? That's why we're here, this is me giving you experience, so that way you can learn from my mistakes. So anyways... Um, but yeah, following it along, the, the, one of the big things here is that this is, you can see where the kumi is, right? So I had the wife do the kumi. Um, and again, that's a lot of string in there for anything like that. Right. So I can't even imagine how thick that thing would have been if I had doubled up the string, but okay. Um, when the, I do the other side and I join all this thing together, right? I'm going to, it's going to be a little bit different than what it looks like when it's on the graph paper. And so you kind of have to learn, um, if you're going to do this, you're going to have to learn how to kind of pick your battle with the graph paper itself, right? So we're taking essentially what is an, um, an alpha design with the pumpkin and we're, we're making this into normal knots, which makes it way easier, right? So one of the battles you're going to come up against is as we, we join this together and you're going to have more coming into it, you're going to want 
to recognize the fact that those four greens, that's just one stripe coming through there. That's the top, right? And then all you have to do is count from where like where one pumpkin ends and the next pumpkin begins um, to get your spacing right. And then, you know, you kind of, you'll, you, it'll all kind of fall together for you. In this case, I knew that, you know, from the pattern, there's just one row at, at the, which is over on my right hand side there. And from there, I can then count, you know, like how many down with the, the grays that I did. And coming across, I know that there's like, what, one, two, three, four before the stem kind of started with the green. And then, you know, I go through the greens and it's like a couple few past. And then I can start bringing those oranges across. And you kind of want to make like the longest row that you can, you know, um, like with like say those oranges, right? Bringing them straight across and then bringing that gray down to get that rounded corner. That's going to help keep the whole shape of things and kind of help keep your consistency going. And it'll speed things up, right? So that's that's kind of, you know, I don't know. It, it's my method. If you want to do it differently, I know some people, they don't mind doing like the plaid bracelets, you know, for me, those, those are just so painful. It's you're constantly setting down a string and picking up another. And it just takes so much longer than if you just, you know, punch at a whole big long row at once. Um, and you can see it right there. I just shifted the whole thing up on the clip, right? Keeping it clamped and keep it from moving too much will help you immensely. It makes things move along so much faster. I, I can't can't even tell you how much that will really, really help you out. So, um, and then, yeah, see, uh, I'm going to bring down another one of the grays. And mind you, I'm still even like just anchoring to the bigger group as I'm coming along. And doing it like that, as opposed to like putting out a whole bunch at once, especially when it's like really thin strings like this, will kind of help because it makes sure that you don't get them all so crushed up towards the top that when you go to finally put it on, that you're causing the whole triangle start to kind of bow outwards. Because if they're all crushed at the top, that's exactly what's going to happen to you. So kind of bringing them on board as you need them, that can kind of change things up for you quite a bit, especially like the way that this thing is going, right? Because we're just, we're, we didn't create a whole row coming all the way down, going to the left-hand side, which would help have spaced it in the beginning, right? So, and this really kind of helped speed things up. I was really kind of pleased with how quickly this all went along. Now, um, so I found this image, I don't even know where these, who I, I'd get, love to give somebody credit for having come up with these, these jack-o'-lanterns. Um, but I have no idea who it was. Um, but I, I was playing around with it. So when we get around to the patterns and stuff, I took, I think there might've been five and I turned it into like 10 different faces. So, and with this, you can like totally make this to your own likings, right? Make, whatever kind of faces you want with it. Um, and that's, yeah, that's kind of the joy of being a, a creative individual, right? Is you can make it how you want. Um, this one turns out, he looks pretty, pretty happy. Um, but that's not going to be true with some of the rest of these that I'm doing. So, you know, I, again, I'm just trying to promote creativity. I think you guys could, should have fun with this. Um, I think the whole process should be fun. Um, I don't think anybody should be led into believing that, you know, you start t making bracelets, you're going to make a ton of money or something because chances are you're not. Um, but you can have a lot of fun. And uh, I certainly had a lot of fun with this. I think this is going to be fun to just have. I think it's going to end up being like something I hang off a backpack or something. It's, it's a little too seasonal to be worn on my wrist. So... Um, and besides that, I'm now in Asia, so we really don't have much of a big Halloween following thing over here. They have their, they have a whole ghost month. So, and, and you might not even realize this. Does anybody even remember what Halloween was about? Right. So let me, let me just remind you in case, in case you may have forgotten this one. So supposedly for one night, 
all the souls, all the dead people, all rise from the dead and they come out and as they go around, they see everything just looks terrible. The whole world's just gone, you know, crazy bad. And it's so bad that they they just want to go back. They don't want to stay here. They don't want to, you know, be ghosts and, and, and haunt us or whatever else. They just saw the whole world and the whole world is so ghoulish and so scary that they want to go back. Which is weird that we dress kids up be like Frozen or whatever else because, I mean, if that's the scariest thing you can think of, well, then yeah, I guess I understand. But that wasn't what the whole point of Halloween was. It was supposed to scare everybody back to being dead. Um, where here, we have a whole month of the dead coming back. And we feed them and we give them clothing and we just do all this, this crazy stuff for them. And... It just kind of shows that, you know, cultures, this is way more, uh, you know, um, hospitable, I guess, to the dead than uh, than the Americans. So whatever. It is what it is. Meanwhile, I'm still, I still think the whole Halloween thing is pretty cool. Didn't do it as a kid personally, but, you know, whatever. That was my parents' fault, not, not mine. Um, but yeah, this design definitely cool and I definitely hope that this made it easier because um like I said I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the whole alpha thing and I think that that's that's if you are great I mean rock on but it feels like cheating and here I, I get a chance to actually make the whole pattern and play with it and it becomes a tube and I can maybe even you know stick some candy corns down in it you know have a little private stash of candy corns I kind of miss those things yeah, well, whatever. Um, and now with the with the whole pandemic, I'm not even sure that uh, having uh, the Halloween candy and stuff is still going to be a thing. That's kind of weird, right? Whatever. Um, but yeah, I kind of I kind of like this one. I, I kind of like I said, it's it's a different sort of design. Um. Oh, so yeah, here I'm creating the corner, right? So it's it's a little bit of just one row, one row, one row, kind of going back and forth. But that's because of where the smile comes into it. So since the grays are coming to the right, um, I'm kind of building up to where I can do, it's going to end up like a row of three knots coming down. So here they are, right? So I kind of built up that whole little corner so that way I was able to actually achieve it. And you can see I pause there for a second, make sure I'm like on track and yep. And then I can continue on with the rest of the smile. And then the other orange will be able to make a longer sweep coming across. So again, it was about choosing how to do the rows in the most efficient ways possible. Um, and hopefully you guys get that. I mean, you know, I'll probably get some comments or, you know, some private messages later on saying, um, you didn't really explain that. I'm sorry. I really do try. Um, a lot of things might end up kind of seeming semi easy to me and I don't realize, you know, that I kind of glaze over it. And I, I apologize. I don't mean to be like that. So, and obviously this is sped up. This is not how, not how quickly I know it's sped up because otherwise you'd probably be looking at more than an hour of me trying to come up with something to say, which that's not good for either of us. So, but yeah, see longer rows and he looks so jolly, right? So just, just wait the other, the other faces, maybe not quite so jolly. So you'll see, it's kind of fun, but, uh, yeah, if you guys make this stuff, tag me in it. Uh, do the the whole inspired by. Okay, so here we go. We have completed one side of this. So I got this kind of wrapped up in the whatever silicon thing that is. It's made for coomies. So I know this seems like a really short video, and it is, but. Uh, I'm going to have to break this thing up because otherwise, A, it's going to be super long, and B, I won't have anything to for uh, next week. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, don't get your strings in a bunch.